All right, let's check out the latest flea market haul. First, we're gonna have this Tahoe. It's a 1997 Tahoe, and it has the police variant of the front grille. As you can see, it's got those lights in there and the ribbing. I guess you could call that in the grille there. This one was on my list. It's got my favorite light bar. Next, we have the Impala, Fire District Impala, uh, with the Fire District logo. Vector light bar. I finally have one of these complete now. Uh, I have a few of these, except for they're either missing their light bar or they're really scratched up. So now I can say I finally have one that is complete. Next, this is Mercedes 280 GE. It's actually a police car can see there. Police department. No idea what year this came out. But uh, that logo appeared on I think the 1995 police five pack. It's the one with the Humvee and that's all I can think of at the moment. Yeah, the Humvee. Next, another list maker. I've been looking for this one for a while. The Mac power truck in a fire district scheme. These lights here come out and pivot. And this one is from uh, 2009. Yeah, B26 is the number there. Next, Land Rover Discovery in a Forest Service scheme. I'm told that this one is kind of rare. I'm not entirely sure. What the consensus is. I think it was a 10 pack exclusive from 2008 time frame. Let's see what it says. Or no, 2010, C31. So yeah, I think it was a 10 pack exclusive. Next, we have a Tamaka Nissan Cabal made in Japan. This thing's all metal, except for the uh, tent on there or whatever, and the frame of this part here. The base is metal and the cab is metal. Yeah, Nissan Cabal. Very neat. Next we've got a Mustang 2010. Uh, GT500 I think? Yes. With a nice racing stripe there and painted headlights and not painted taillights. Next. We've got the Snow Groomer. Just a snow truck. Looks like an airport snow truck. Snow plow. This opens. And it's uh, probably two the 2000s arrow with that type of number on the bottom there. Next, we've got a DHL Volkswagen Caddy. It doesn't actually say, so I had to think of the name for a second there. DHL, Dalsy, Hillblom, and Lynn. Of course, it's a classic livery, so... I think I have another one of these somewhere, but it's like smashed. I believe it's missing an entire axle, so I'm like, okay, I can pick up another one. And next, we're going to have a 1996 Crown Vic. And this one is also Fire District, and uh, as with the Impala, I have another one of these, but I think the graphics are pretty much completely uh, vaporized, so... Now I can say I properly have this vehicle because it is fully intact uh, with clear graphics and a light bar. This one's from 2009. Yeah, B26. Next, we're going to have another Impala. Westworth Village, I believe that's real because I can definitely see Texas in the center of that star there. Vector light bar because it's an Impala and the whatever kind of gear it's got up there would be a speed trap or something there on the dashboard there. With a painted tail light, very nice. Again, this is probably from like 2001 or 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 double O because of that printed batch number on there, wherever that's supposed to be. Next, we're gonna have the Camaro. Uh, I don't know where this one came out. This may have came in a five pack. Just Matchbox Police, and with the light bar that I like. Next, 2015, no it's not, F, 2013, uh, MRAP, 
what's the actual name of this? SWAT truck. I believe this was in the mission force for that year. So why not pick up another one? And this is before they nerfed it to where plastic came up to here. But yeah, very nice. Very nice vehicle. Based on a, I guess, an international Navistar maybe. Next, we're going to have an oldie here. Made in England. Forklift. I don't think it's missing anything because there's no holes that I can see. So yeah, it just lifts up. There you go. Forklift. Lansing Bagnall. That very well could be a real thing. But yeah. Let's get a close look at the base there. Or forklift truck. I apologize. So this will be from at the earliest the early 1980s or before next Chrysler panel cruiser didn't know this was a casting it's all metal the gold there yeah I discover a lot of new castings just finding them in piles but yeah that'll be from don't know what year. There's not even a, any sort of numbers on the bottom. Next, 2009 Prius. And it is indeed from 2009 if we can read the batch number up there. B46. Prius has got some stuff in the back here. I don't really know. I can't make it out. But I like the Prius as a casting. Not so much as a car, but it's a very good casting. Next, Jeep. Jeep Rescue. Yeah, it's really hard to make out, but this is a sweet vehicle because it's uh, off-road. Uh, muddy tires and mud, mud graphics on the sides there. But yeah, very nice vehicle. Um, let's see, has it got a batch number here? No, I can't see one. But yeah, Jeep Rescue. Next, we have another DHL. Delivery truck. I like DHL, so I'm going to pick up every DHL thing I see, so. Have one of these. Uh, I probably showed one of these before because I have another one. Metal chassis uh, and cab and plastic box. Next, DAF XF95 Space Cab from 2010, C37 batch number. These are European uh, semis. We don't see them here. Where I live at, ever. I don't think I've ever seen one. Or maybe, no, it's a lie, maybe once. Let's see what it says there. Emergency check for driver in rear compartment. Yeah, DAF space cab. Next, Honda Civic Type R. And a very nice coloration. I don't think the camera fully shows uh, how cool this color is. It's very nice. Very nice blue color. Nice. Uh, I got another snow groomer here. You just saw this one. And these last two aren't from the flea market, but I just picked them up that day. Uh, another Crown Vic for Ricacho River Valley. It's Crown Vic, so of course I'm going to pick it up. I think it's from like last year. At the, or maybe this, I don't remember when. And then today I got this one, 2017 Lamborghini Urus. Very, very nice. It's a Hot Wheels. Got some nice, uh, really nice detailing on the grill there. Nice. And you thought we were done. Well, no, we're not done yet. I got airplanes. Uh, next, we're going to have a Maisto MiG-29. Uh, this is a different variety. As you can see, the coloration is different than the one you usually see. And the missiles seem to be different, so I'm, I'm arbitrarily declaring this one as air superiority, and the other ones as air-to-ground, uh, because, I don't know, the other ones just look like air-to-ground missiles because they're fatter. These look more, look more like uh, air-to-air -air missiles, so. If you're wondering where the gun is in a MiG-29, it's right right there next tornado 
yeah, just tornado. Don't have this variation. As you can see, it's got a tornado on each wing. Funny. We have tornadoes all metal. And next, we're gonna have a Xylmex. This thing's just toasted, but uh, yeah, this will be an F20 Tiger Shark, which was an improved F5 with only one engine. Um, I didn't know this variation existed as in these colors. I knew there's a blue version, but um, didn't know this one existed. As you can see, the the MB number for Xylmex. It goes like this, it's A, it starts with A something, it's supposed to be A212, and you can see there's the Zalmex logo, F20 Tiger Shark. Yeah, I didn't, uh, I don't have any of these in anywhere, so I'm glad to finally have this in the fleet, even though it'll just sit in a corner, uh, broken, you know what I mean? That's all metal, by the way. Don't, uh, don't discount Zalmex, they actually have some cool models. Next, we're gonna have Blaze Buster. Not a firefighting scheme. This looks more like just a cargo scheme. I can't. It's based off a real aircraft. I can't recall what it's called, but you, they are indeed actually firefighting airplanes. Well, that's all I see them as today. Yeah, and that's from 2014. The batch number of G31. Next one have sl slightly kind of goofy model. Goofy for me is this A380. It's only goofy because it's got this really chunky landing gear, th uh, chunky area there. But um, I just saw I just saw this, for, saw it from this angle, and I'm like, oh, that looks cool. And then I kind of it was already in my hand by the time I asked, how much is it? So I'm like, all right, I'll grab it. Don't have any A380s. But it, it looks it looks decent except its side for the chunky center there. It's got the correct uh, shape, wing shape there. Yeah, and next up next we're gonna have we're gonna have three of these. So I'll just show one. There's, yeah, F-16s, uh, Maestos, all metal. Arbitrarily gonna say that's an Amram, and that's an AIM-9. So another air superiority version. Got an F-16 is right there, and this is just a desert schemed F-16. Looks pretty nice. Again, three of those. So alrighty, that is going to do it for this haul. Might be the last one of the season, who knows. We'll see if we can squeeze any more in, probably this coming Sunday, hopefully. So thank you guys for watching.